Yo, what's going on guys? Mad Zach up in the building and today we're gonna be having some fun with the new slicing modes in Ableton 9.7. Uh, it's something that they, some features that they added with the new version and it's super cool. So let's take a look. Um, I guess I'll explain real quick before I do it what slicing is. It allows you to take a sample or a loop or something and sort of auto map different sections of that to the buttons on the push. And it's a great tool for making beats. So let's take a look at how we can use it. So I've got this drum break ready to go. It's from Bill Withers, sounds a little bit something like this. And what I'm gonna do to use the slicing feature is actually drag that audio loop onto a MIDI track and into a simpler. So I'll just click and drag it right here under the MIDI track. We'll mute the audio track now. And if you look within the simpler, you've got these three different modes. You've got one shot, classic, and slice. So if you've got a push, you can just use this knob right here to toggle between the modes. So we're gonna select slice. And the default situation here is that it slices based on transient. So basically every time there's a new drum hit. And you can hear that. You have to play it kind of fast to get the actual beat going. Um, anyways, you get the picture. Um, Basically, it, it does a pretty good job of making the slices, but if there is something that needs to be corrected, for example, this one, you can hear that little click right at the end. So what I'll do is I'll go to the next slice, and then I'll use my nudge knob here. Oh, so I'll move my hand so you can actually see. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Um, so I'll move that nudge marker just a little bit to the left, and boom, the click's away. So it's easy to correct the automatic settings all on the push or within Ableton. So what we'll do now is we're gonna record this beat in um, and then we can manipulate the order of the hits and the way that it works. But first we'll just lay it down. So I'm gonna turn my metronome on and let's hit record. Drop this clip and it sounds pretty similar to the original but what you can do basically is you can rearrange these notes in different ways so that it will sort of like glitch out the beat or just sort of rearrange the different drum hits but you still get some of that feel of the original beat so I'm gonna start to move some of these notes around and let's see what it sounds like We can start to create our own feel if you want. You could add shuffle or even change the rhythm completely. But we'll leave it like this for now. Um, and I'll explain a little bit how the slicing works once you've got the pattern loaded here. So basically the cool thing about slicing is that you can use these same parameters in the simpler and they'll be applied equally to each slice, which can be pretty useful. Um, for example, if you want to transpose, It's cool because it doesn't do warping and it actually preserves the timing um, while transposing it differently. And it sounds pretty sick. Although I like it on the normal transposition the best. You can also add fades to kind of fade out each slice or fade in. We'll get back to that later. And of course you've got filter which is cool because actually the filter envelope, if you use one, will be re-triggered with each slice as well. So let's say, for example, we want to come in here and turn the filter envelope on. You can hear that it's doing that filter envelope for each individual hit, which is pretty cool. 
We can make that a little bit more dramatic if we pull this amount up and put the resonance up. But for now, we're gonna leave all that stuff off and actually move on to a different sound and a different type of slicing. So what we just did was called transient slicing, but of course you have a few different options if you look here in sort of the, the, the slicing options. So the next thing that we're gonna do is add um, some kind of sample with no drums at all to layer over the top of this. And we're gonna create our own slice points on the fly um, and it should be pretty cool. So I've got this Bulgarian choir uh, sample ready to go. So I'm just gonna drag it onto the pads, or not the pads, sorry, onto a sampler. Um, and we'll just listen to it once through and hear what it sounds like. That's pretty much it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the slice mode here. Slicing. As you can see on transient mode, just kind of set transient or set slice markers wherever and that doesn't really work for this purpose so we're gonna say slice by manual and now without the beat playing I'm gonna lay in some slice markers um, so that we can play something in and if you want to think about this kind of like the way tractor works with cue points it's kind of similar uh, when you do it like this because I'm also gonna put well for now we're leaving on mono but eventually we're gonna put it on through so that for each slice marker, it's actually just triggering the whole song at that point and it'll keep playing past the other slice markers. Um, so what I'm also gonna do is put the fade up a little bit. We'll put it around 180. And let's just put some slices in here. If you wanna nudge them around, you can as well. So I'm just moving that nudge around. Let's turn that drum beat down a little bit and we'll give ourselves a little bit more volume in general. And now I'm also gonna put the playback on through, just tune these cue points a little bit. And that's the technique. So uh, one more thing I wanted to add is that basically if you get some slices that you really like, you can right click in the simpler and say slice to drum rack. And what this will do is it'll take each one of those individual slices and throw it on its own cell in a drum rack. which is pretty cool because that allows you to, you know, step sequence the slices or load them up on another controller, finger drum, different stuff like that. Super fun. And uh, anyways, yeah, that's slicing. Ableton 9.7 update is awesome. I'm Mad Zach, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys, have a good one.